वेलकम टू दे टुडे सेशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द लेंथ ऑफ पाइप रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द हीटिंग सर्किट एंड द केबल लेंथ ऑफ केबल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द हीटिंग सर्किट सो नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी हैव टू एस्टीमेट विथ कास्ट so let us go to the uh, next slide myself is uh, lokesh bm selection guide lecturer dscg government polytechnic chikmagalur so let us see the next slide here is a detailed estimate of the heating circuit what we have discussed in the earlier uh, uh, class so here it has number of columns the first column represents serial number and the second column represents description of material with specification so we have to list the materials here and then third column represents the quantity and fourth represents the unit of these materials so this one is the rate per unit and the in the last column represents the total uh, uh, cost of this material for this much of quantity, uh, quantity so now let us see one by one the first item is um 3/4 inch diameter 2 mm thick pvc pipe so length of pipe of 3/4 inch dia required is about 14 meter and cost of pvc pipe is 10 rupees per meter so actually the pipe pvc pipe available in terms of length each length so each length of pipe consists of 3 meter and that costs about 30 rupees per length and we have calculated that per meter the amount per meter so amount of 3/4 inch dia pipe per meter is 10 rupees now the for 14 meter we get 140 rupees and next items are the accessories of uh, pvc pipe so next item is pvc bend for the fourth inch dia pipe so six numbers are required each of 6 rupees so total we will get 36 rupees and then pvc collars these are used to join two pipes so if one pipe ends the other pipe will be joined with the help of pvc collars so these are all the approximate values so five numbers of collars are required each of 5 rupees so totally it becomes 25 rupees junction boxes pvc junction boxes wherever the tapings are required wherever the the piping turns take turns so junction boxes are required so we have uh, assorted sizes uh, it has it, it may consists of uh, two way three way or four way junction boxes so we need two junction boxes each of 15 rupees so totally it becomes 30 rupees now the cable required for the particular load in the heating circuit is so we have calculated the size by with the help of table so 4 square mm cable is required so 4 square mm a uh, single core copper conductor pvc cable 4 square mm single core copper conductor pvc cable so we need a uh, 42 meter so length of pipe is 14 meter so usually the length of cable 
approximate length of cable required is about three times the length of pipe. So when you multiply this length of pipe by three, we get 42. So this is the approximate length of cable. So we need 42 meter. So each meter costs about 28 rupees. So in the shop, the cables are available in terms of coils. So that will be converted into cost per meter. So now it costs about 28 rupees per meter. Now for 42 meter, it becomes 1176 rupees. And then MCB, this is the main uh, MCB used in the distribution board. So this controls both points. So MCB 32 amps to 50 volts single pole, or we can use double pole MCB also. Yeah, we have used single pole. So one number costs about 350 rupees. So total cost becomes 350 rupees. Now T could board of size. T could board of size 250 by 200 by 45 mm. So we need to fix one switch and one socket. So 250 by 200 by 45 mm size required. So two points are there. Therefore, two number of boards are required. So each of 80 rupees. So totally, it becomes 160 rupees. Now I have sheet for this takeout board. So 250 by 200 by 3 mm. So we need two boards each of so 72 rupees for two, board, two boards it becomes 144 rupees now sp switches 15 ampere 250 volts two numbers are required so one for each point so we have two points so 50 rupees each it becomes 100 rupees so sockets wall plug sockets of 15 ampere 250 volts so two numbers are required each of 80 rupees it becomes 160 rupees the next one is earthing pipe earth electrode it consists of holes on its periphery so it helps to put the pour the salt water so that it becomes easy to make the earth damp. So by adding salt water, the conduction property of earth increases, conductivity of soil increases. So that is why the holes are made in the pipe. So diameter 40 mm, diameter 3 mm thick, J pipe is required. It is about 1.5 meter so sometimes 2.5 meter pipe also used uh, for the industrial applications for the domestic we can use only 1.5 meter length of GA pipe so each meter costs about 350 rupees so totally it becomes 525 rupees now a tester breezy GA wire is used for connecting earthing. That means this wire runs from uh, point, heating point to the earth pipe. Heating point is fixed, situated, situated at the uh, kitchen and bath, and the earth pipe, earth electrode is inserted in the soil 
at the outside of the house. Now the GI wire connects GR electrode with ground pin of heating points. So we need one kg of J wire. It costs about hundred rupees. Number of J hooks. These are used to fix the PVC pipe to the wall. So we need fifty numbers. It costs about three hundred rupees total. And these are the miscellaneous materials. Teakwood wedges, charcoal, salt, sand. It is not mentioned here. So these are the charcoal, salt, sand are required for the um, earthing. So earth pit should be filled with alternate layers of charcoal, salt, and sand. Nuts, bolts, screws are required. These are all. Um, we cannot add these materials in the list. So those materials which cannot be mentioned in the list of materials can be considered as a miscellaneous materials. So lump sum, it, is, it may be about uh, 250 rupees. Now labor charge, labor charge for heating circuit. Now we have two points. Labor charge for each point is about 250 rupees. So it is costlier compared to the lighting point because we have only two points in the heating circuit, but the length of wiring will be more compared to the lighting. So labor cost becomes costly, com costlier compared to the lighting circuit. So for two points, we get 500 rupees is the labor charge. And for fixing meter board, for wiring and fixing meter board for the heating circuit, it is about 200 rupees lump sum. And for earthwork, earth connection, labor for earth connection is about 200 rupees. So we have to add all these amounts, total amounts, column amounts should be added and then so contingency at the rate of 5% will be 5% of the above item, above amount should be calculated and it will be about 220 rupees. Now the total cost of uh, heating circuit becomes so 4,616 rupees. This completes the detailed estimate of heating circuit. Now let us move to another topic. Consider a house is having, it is a old house, it is having only lighting circuit. Now um, to modernize the house, that means it, it should be, if it is required to equip with modern uh, domestic uh, appliances. So we need, it, it may be required to install fridge, install water heater in the bathroom, that means geyser in the bathroom and then washing machines like this some of the modern domestic appliances may be required so to connect those equipments in the house lighting circuit is not used it is the size of wire in the lighting circuit is insufficient to feed the power for these equipments therefore we need one more circuit, that means heating circuit to run all over the house. So we, we have to convert lighting installation into AH for connecting 
the modern domestic appliances. So there are uh, some of the points to be followed here. So we have uh, two, we have to work out with the two headings. One is addition and the other is alterations. So some of the materials already existing have to be replaced by new materials of higher capacity. So that comes under uh, alterations and we need separate heating circuit for the domestic appliances. So that comes under additions. So let us see, there are some points to be followed to convert lighting installation into AH installation. So point number one, lighting circuit is retained as it is. So we have already lighting circuit. So that should be retained as it is. Second point, a separate earthing for power circuit is to be provided. Again, we need a separate uh, heating circuit. So for that, it is required to have separate earthing. Next third point, in the overhead service connection, cable is to be replaced of sufficient capacity to receive the total load along with service pipe. So we have uh, old cable of lower current capacity. Now for the additional load, so that cable may not be able to carry the load current so that it has to be removed and then should be replaced by a new cable of higher range uh, to carry higher current. So that has to be replaced. And then fourth point is separate main switch capable of withstanding the total load is to be calculated and estimated. So for the heating circuit, we need a separate main switch. Then a fuse unit of required rating is to be provided for taking the total present load. So in the meter board, we have to replace uh, the fuse cutout and the main switch. Then sixth point requires requires addition of a control switch of suitable rating at the meter board of the heating circuit. So we need a main switch in the meter board as well as separate control switch in the distribution board. And then energy meter actually the current carrying capacity of the energy meter was less for the lighting circuit. Now for the new load, we have to enhance the capacity of the energy meter. So energy meter of sufficient capacity is to be replaced. Then existing two pin plug sockets are to be replaced by three pin plug sockets. And then if necessary, additional three pin plug sockets are to be provided to meet the modern house equipment. And the last point is aerial cutouts of requisite capacity are to be replaced. So these uh, aerial cutouts, that means fuse cutouts are fixed on the pole, supplier's pole. So earlier it was uh, of uh, lower capacity. So now we have to increase the capacity of the fuse cutout. So these are all the points, 10 points we have to follow to convert lighting into AH installation. So this completes conversion of lighting to AH installation. Now let us move to the to next slide. So we have uh, multiple choice questions, multiple 
test questions. The question number one is the illumination level in the illumination level in houses is in the range of illumination level in the houses is in the range of 10 to 20 lumens per square meter 32 B option B 32 40 lumens per square meter option C 40 to 75 lumens per square meter option D 100 to 140 lumens per square meter Actually, the answer is option D, 100 to 140 lumens per square meter. Second question is, the standard wattage of 3 feet standard wattage of Uh, I think there is a, a small mistake. I think in the question it should be a four feet. You won't get three feet uh, fluorescent tube. Um, standard wattage of four feet uh, fluorescent tube is option A 10 watt, option B 40 watt, option C 65 watt, option D 100 watt. What is the answer? The answer is the standard wattage of 4 feet person tube is 40 watt. Usually 2 feet uh, person tube will have 20 watt capacity. So it is a 4 feet person tube. So it is 40 watt. Again, um, slim tubes are available in the market. So, two feet slim tube is having 18 watts capacity, and four feet slim tube is having 36 watt capacity. So, next question, third question. The fuse rating is expressed in terms of Current, voltage, VAR, and KV. Option A, current. Option B, voltage. Option C, VAR. Option D, KV. Fuse rating is expressed in terms of. Actually, current is the answer so for the depending upon the load current the fuses different fuses are used you will get uh, 15 ampere 32 amps 63 amps 100 amps like that ampere is the rating current rating is the correct answer okay next uh, question number 4 how many outlets are permitted in a power circuit? That means how many points that can be connected in each sub circuit? How many points that can be connected in each sub circuit, in each heating sub circuit? Option A 10 points, option B 5 points, option C 2 points, option D 1 point. The maximum number of uh, uh, points that can be connected in the heating circuit is 2. So maximum 2 points can be connected in each sub-circuit. Even 1 point can also be connected but this is the maximum number of points that can be connected in heating circuit is option C 2 points. So this ends this session.
Now these are all the reference books. Here are the members. to create this lessons thank you